Hi, I'm Dr. Amit Patki. I'm a fertility specialist from Fertility Associates based in Mumbai. Today I'm going to speak to you on ovulation and pregnancy, how lack of ovulation is one of the most important causes for a couple not to get pregnant and how a couple can increase their chances of ovulation by having some dietary changes and by leading a healthy life. Ovulation induction is a process where the egg gets mature and is released from the ovary and this egg is then captured by the fimbria of the fallopian tubes and if there is a sperm then the sperm will fertilize this egg to create an embryo. Ovulation can be affected by various factors. The main three factors would be age, lifestyle disorders and irregular menstrual cycles. Ovulation induction can be monitored by various methods. The easiest method for the patient to monitor is a slight rise in the basal body temperature of the patient by almost 0.5 degrees Celsius at the time of ovulation. Cervical mucus monitoring, which even is self-monitoring by the patient, when she will note a change in the consistency of the cervical mucus, it being very liquidy at the time of ovulation. Ovulation or the lack of ovulation is one of the most important reasons for a couple not to conceive. There is a problem in the egg growth and this can be because of various factors. The most important factor being the age of the woman. As a woman grows older and definitely after the age of 37, the frequency of ovulation would decrease in the woman. The second would be a rise in the body weight. Obesity is one of the most common causes for irregular menstruation or irregular periods and quite often these women have an ovulatory cycles which means lack of egg growth and hence lifestyle changes, weight loss, regular exercise, eating healthy food is one of the most important advice that we as doctors would give any woman with ovulatory disorders. The most important reason we find nowadays is polycystic ovaries which is multiple small cysts in the ovary which doesn't allow the patient to grow a mature egg. This is partly familial and hence can be found in the mother and sisters. It is also related to a weight gain in the patient and also increase in the facial hair growth or loss of hair on the head. Polycystic ovary can be treated with dietary changes, lifestyle changes and also helping the patient to lose weight. Counseling of the patient is very important in these cases. In a regular menstrual cycle which lasts for 28 days, the ovulation or the egg rupture would occur around the 14th day. But prior to the rupture, there are lots of changes that occur and these changes can be monitored by a transvaginal sonography to see how the follicle is growing. In all cases, it is very important that the woman is healthy before she conceives because only then would we ensure a healthy mother and a healthy child. In women who are having ovulatory problems and most often it is an ovulation which is absence of o ovulation, this is largely related to the weight of the woman or obesity. We see a large number of cases with polycystic ovaries which is also related to the weight and hence it is important that these women are counseled for weight loss programs for dietary changes, for regular exercises. 
it's also important that these women are advised against smoking against the use of drugs which can affect the health of the child and ovulation of all the cases that we see who come for infertility i think it is important the woman plans a pregnancy before the age of 35 because then her eggs are good and chances of getting pregnant are very fast we also see a large number of women with polycystic ovaries with obesity and hence these women need to be advised on regular exercise on dietary changes so that they lose weight and they start ovulation again we also need to advise women to stop smoking to stop use of recreational drugs even before a few months before they plan pregnancy because we know that a healthy mother will always give you a healthy child dear friends the two pink lines is one of the most joyous and happy moment not only in the woman's life but in the couple's life i think it's very important that couples who are seeking to get pregnant should ask or seek medical help if they do not get pregnant naturally in a year's time of trying i think it is important to seek medical help to trust your doctor to lead a healthy life because only then will you achieve a normal pregnancy i think it's important that you test for hormonal test for the male partner if we find that the couple is not getting pregnant when they are actively trying for a pregnancy so friends look for those two pink lines which is a sign of pregnancy which is a sign of joy and i think it is very important that every couple seeking to get pregnant if they do not get pregnant in a year's time should seek medical help should go and meet their doctor and have a prenatal checkup to make sure that there is nothing major wrong with them